Matt fans, it's been a while. I've been a little bit ill, but today we are looking at SVGs and how to use them in QGIS. Here we are on Facebook, Biodiversity Informatics Training Curriculum. It's a really good group on Facebook, so why not join it? It's very cool. Uh, this post here, we have some SVG symbols that have been put together by Alina Gurley, and they're really good. So let's take a look at how we can use these in our QGIS. So here's Alina's page, and at first we have got some track SVGs. So we've got various different animals, and these look like they can be in points or in lines as well, which is kind of cool. You might also notice that Alina's page is in Polish. Uh, I don't speak Polish, that's why I made this video, so I thought it might just be a useful walkthrough uh, for those of you that want to know how to get to use these. The other symbols that Alina's put together are animals. Um, these are really good, great for conservation stuff. So without further ado, let's hop on to QGIS and check out how we can get these SVGs loaded up. Before we do that, I should just point out that Alina does have a walkthrough on her website, so please do visit that as well. And I will put a link to her website in the comments. Here we are, back in Old Faithful, QGIS 2.18.11. And in order to use Alina's awesome SVG symbols, we are going to need a plugin. So I'm going to go up here to the plugins. I'm going to manage and install plugins. And what we're looking for is QGIS resource sharer. I think it's called. Oh, sharing. There we go. All right. So you can read in the panel here to the right how this was put together. Uh, it's a product of GSOC 2016. And it allows you to share uh, SVGs and other stuff as well in QGIS. Pretty cool. So if you make your own SVGs, then you could share them with the community. Very nice. So I've highlighted this one after finding it, and then I'm just going to install plugin down here. That'll take a little while to install. Tick tock, tick tock. And our plugin has successfully installed. So we can close our plugin window. Now that it's installed, if we go back to plugins, here we can see resource sharing is available. So let's click on that and see what's going on. All of these collections on the left we can actually use, which is pretty cool. So I believe that Alina's was animal silhouettes and animal tracks and signs. So let's go to animal silhouettes. There we can see what Alina had on her page is now available here and we can install down to the bottom right so the collection will download it will install and there we go let's get the animal tracks and signs as well there we go thanks very much Alina install there and done excellent so we can close out of our plugin now. There is a lot more stuff that you can go through here and uh, check out in your own time. Now to put these SVGs to use, I am just going to use a map that I've got hanging around in the background. And looks like our railway stations are a point file. Very useful. Let's double click on that to open up the style. At the moment, we just have a simple marker, which you can see here. And if I click on that, I can change the color, etc. Very good. And I'm just going to change the size and just bump it up to five so we can see our changes take effect. Now here, the symbol layer type is currently set to a single marker. I want to change that to an SVG marker. Our size stays the same, but QGIS doesn't know which SVG marker we want to use. So we will scroll scroll down and here we can see our SVG groups now our resource sharing group should be right down the bottom here and there it is the resource sharing plugin has made these folders on our local machine and that means that we can access these SVGs so let's go for animal silhouettes I am gonna go for a frog image 
and it will default to black but you can change that color as you wish I'm going to make them bright red excellent and if we apply that in the background you should be able to see that we have changed our railway stations to red frogs there we go so that's how you can play around with SVG markers if you do make your own SVG markers please let me know I'm always on the lookout for more of these because it's kind of cool to style your maps don't forget as well if you're new to QGIS we do have on Udemy a QGIS course it's a real beginners course check out the comments and there's a link to that with 50% off just for you YouTube subscribers and finally, please don't forget to like videos if you do like them, and don't forget to subscribe. Happy mapping!